How to best season iron wax. Hello, my foodies. It's Cece here, and some of you asked me how to properly season iron wax. And today I'm going to show you just that. I'm going to show you my way and how to season any iron wax. And you know what I think? It is the best way. Let's get started. This is a brand new carbon steel flat bottom wok. So first, we're going to clean the wok with dishwasher detergent, steel scrapper, and warm water. Add the new iron wax, including both carbon steel and lightweight cast iron wax, have a protective layer on the top, and it needs to be completely removed before using. I previously have a round bottom wok, but it doesn't work with my portable stove, even with a stand. So I got a brand new flat bottom one. Now, after drying the wok, place the wok over high heat. Heat it up until smoking and it turns color, about 10 minutes. And we can move the wok around so that the heat can distribute evenly. At this part, you may want to open up your kitchen windows and doors <laughs> as the wok is going to release some nasty smell. Now I'm going to turn off the heat completely and carefully pour about a quarter cup of canola oil in it. You can also use at a high smoking point vegetable oil. Use a metal utensil to place a piece of pork belly in the wok. And I'm gonna use this pork belly to wipe the wok everywhere for about 30 minutes. And turn to low heat once it is cooler. Turn off the heat when the pan starts to smoke again. And repeat. And by doing so, we aren't just seasoning the wok, but we're also continue to thoroughly clean the wok with the pork belly. So the pork belly is also like a cleaning scrub, I would say. You can also just use the pork belly alone, but without the oil, the whole process will take additional 20 minutes longer. And after about 30 minutes, we're gonna turn off the heat. Now, when you pour out the oil and the pork belly, the color will look darker. We're going to wash the wok with warm water and a soft sponge. We will not use detergent anymore at this point. And after drying the wok, we're going to place it over high heat one more time. And heat it up until it is smoking. Then turn off the heat. And dip a paper towel in canola oil and then wipe it all over the wok, including the bottom. And your wok is ready. After seasoning our wok, does it instantly become non-stick? It actually depends on two elements. So first, you have to properly season your wok, which we just did. And second, uh, when you cook, you have to use the correct temperature. So I hope that everyone enjoyed today's episode. And if you like it, remember to subscribe, thumbs up, and also share. Um, I'd like to also stay in touch on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And I will see you again on Friday, next Friday. Bye now! Oh, oh, I'm going to